Now this part of the question then, we've got to find the value of R that makes S stationary by using calculus. So what does that mean? Well briefly, what we've got, not that you necessarily need to know the graph of S, but essentially if we looked at the graph of S when plotted against the radius, the graph would actually look something like this. Now a stationary point is a point where the graph turns, where the gradient is zero. And that point would be here. And our job is to find out the value of R then which gives this stationary point. And at stationary points the gradient of the tangent which is given by ds by dr is going to be zero. So this is what they mean when they say using calculus. They want us to differentiate. They want us to differentiate and at the stationary point the gradient will be zero and we'll be able to solve the equation to find out this particular value of r. Okay, well that's just a bit of background. No one's asking you to sketch this graph though, okay? So, we need to get ready to differentiate this. Well, first of all, this term needs to be changed. We need to change this to s equals r squared, the first term's okay, but this one is the same as 1800 times 1 over r, and 1 over r is written as r to the power minus 1. Now in the usual way we should be able to differentiate this, differentiate s with respect to r, so it's ds dr equals and in the normal way when you differentiate terms like this multiply the power by the number at the front, we've got a 1 here so 2 times 1 is 2, reduce the power by 1 and you get r to the power 1 or you could just leave it as 2r. Similarly when you come on to this term multiply the power by the 1800 and you get minus 1800, reduce the power by 1 and you get r to the power minus 2. Now I would always say to anyone if you've got negative powers just simplify them back so what we have is 2r minus and this is 1800 times 1 over r squared, r to the minus 2 means 1 over r to the power 2. So that gives 1800 times 1 over r squared means that the r squared just goes underneath. Now we know that at a stationary point then the gradient ds dr is equal to zero. So I would say here that at the stationary point, just write it in, ds by dr would equal zero. That's a very important concept and by putting that in you're going to tell the examiners that you know the next stage of the problem. So this is generally going to be worth a mark. So at stationary points ds dr equals zero so therefore we've got this equation 2r minus 1800 over r squared equals zero. And I feel it's much easier to work with this than it is to work with this equation when it equals zero. So that's why I'd encourage you to always get rid of negative powers. Okay, where do we go from here? Well what I'd want to do is get rid of this r squared and I'm going to times both sides by r squared. So we times this term by r squared and we get 2r cubed. Multiply this term by r squared and you end up with minus 1800 and times naught by r squared and you get zero. Now if we add 1800 to both sides we get 2r cubed equals 1800 and then divide both sides by 2 and you get r cubed equals 900. So all we need to do now to get r is just simply take the cube root to both sides. So we need to take the cube root of 900. And so if you do that on a calculator you should find that you get 9.6548 and so on. And if we round this to say 
one decimal place will end up with 9.7. Don't forget the units. We're working in centimetres, so the radius is 9.7 centimetres, correct to one decimal place. So it's that value of R then that gives this stationary point.